Well, first up, Dick's Sporting Goods raised its guidance after a strong sales in the latest quarter. The retailer reported a 5.3% rise in same-store sales. That was above the 2.4% expected. And it did exceed Wall Street expectations on overall sales, raking in $3 billion in the first quarter, up 6% from the same time a year ago. Well, the company says Americans spent more on footwear and apparel in the quarter and now expects to do between $13.1 billion to $13.2 billion in sales for the year. Uh, look, Dave, that stock up 16 um, percent yeah. in the past 24 hours, actually at a record high. So believe it or not, the comparables are kind of easy, you could say. A year ago, people were not spending on these sorts of goods at Dick's to the tune that they are now, uh, but certainly a company that in this latest quarter had momentum at its back. Yeah, it's not necessarily a Walmart-type bellwether of the economy, but it has to tell you something, right, that the consumer we sensed was beginning to pull back in a lot of different retail environments, but not this one. And they even said in their earnings call that it, they, they are gathering that the consumer is buying things that they don't necessarily need that they want, in particular buying on running shoes and hokas and some of the brands that we've been talking here uh, about on Cheddar, not necessarily the conventional buys, but things that they are going out and spending on, which tells you, again, like we just talked about with our guest, the health of the economy, underlying you know, reports like this, looks like things are on the up. Certainly, and certainly for some of these retailers, I think there are winners and losers, but Dick's would be a winner with these results. Remarkable to see that stock pop today.